of atomic habits let us start reading so it says chapter 2 how how your habits shape your identity and vice versa so there are few few points and it it is so exciting you know i started taking notes then i halfway i just uh, let it go and i wanted to read it through the entire thing unless i do you will miss the entire uh, flavor of the book so here those are i'll i'll restrict to 10 minutes or so around right so good habits take time to take shape and unless efforts are put you will be doing the same thing even in the next year have you realized that and changing habits appear difficult because for two reasons we try to change the wrong things and we try to change the habits the wrong way so have you lately started changing your habits in some way or other and three layers are to be behavior change one is outcome uh, the second is process and the third is identity what we do is we lose weight that is the outcome we focus on and we'll go to the gym so that we can lose weight that is the process and we seldom put uh, focus on our identity who will we become so that is the most important thing unless you change and look uh, see yourself right ultimately that is the deepest layer that you will be working on unless you do that your uh, behavior is not going to change because you will get into a wrong behavior which will be kind of lead lead you away from whatever you are trying to do it doesn't have to be it doesn't it shouldn't be contradictory to what you are right now. unless you do that it'll go away, right the 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 entire exercise will not last the problem is you define what actions you want to take like the rituals in prayer so sometimes i also get intrigued by this thing called uh, the rituals that uh, people uh, tell you no to attend spirituality and that is very annoying for me so anyways you can have a different opinion anyways why we set those uh, processes because there is a set of belief that we associate with that and beliefs and assumptions that is incongruent with the self will not last as i said so what is your identity create or consume so if you are spending mostly you will not be saving so that is so easy but if you are trying to build wealth you know you have to change your identity you know who you are the second example is if you are a person who likes to relax more than having some kind of accomplishment no there are there there are many logics which will tell you about that if that is so then you are not going to do the training and you will miss the accomplishment right now Uh, the ultimate form of uh, intrinsic motivation is when a habit becomes part of your identity suppose you want to read a book become a reader suppose you want to uh, want to do <coughs> want to uh, want to be, uh, want to run a marathon become a runner and if you want to learn an instrument become a musician right so the more deeply a thought or action is tied to your identity the more difficult it is to change it it can feel comfortable to believe what your culture believes group identity confirming or to do what offers your self image personal identity even if it is wrong so i is, i am a straight speaker that is what we most of us do right so individual team society is identity conflict so let, let us that brings us to an important question if your beliefs and world world view 
play such an important role in in your behavior where do they come from in the first place how exactly is your identity formed and how can you emphasize new aspects of your identity that serve you and gradually erase the pieces that hinder you now the two step process to changing your identity uh whatever identity is right now you only believe it because you have proof of it so create another proof that is the first step and action so cre- take some small action steps and here is a story of course your habits are not the only actions that influence your identity but by virtue of their frequency they are usually the most important ones so how how frequently you do those actions that is also important so do them more often so that you can build your habit quickly and that is a gradual process so be patient with yourself each habit is like a suggestion hey maybe this is who i am if you finish a book then perhaps you are the type of person who likes reading if you go to the gym then perhaps you are the type of person who likes exercise if you practice playing the guitar perhaps you are the type of person who likes music unless you like how can you do at all right putting this all together you can see that habits are the path to changing your identity the most practical way to change who you are is to change what you do each time you write a page you are a writer Each time you practice the violin you are a musician. Each time you start a workout you are a, you are an athlete. Each time you encourage your employees you are a leader. So each habit not only gets results but also teaches you something far more important to trust yourself. Right? You start to believe you can actually accomplish those things. So the simple two process two step process is decide the type of person you want to be prove it to yourself with small wins now let me take a challenge i i want to serve many people and that means i have to reach out to a lot of people so what is the small wins that i can do i can reach out to more people which i am doing here uh, inviting more people to this group to be part of this and sharing what all we i do i do right and make you serious to take my support also right so that is the small wins that i have been doing big questions many people aren't sure, sure where to begin but they do know what kind of results they want to get six pack abs or feel less anxious or to double their salary who is uh, who is the person like say to motivate yourself what questions you actually would like to ask yourself i am the kind of teacher who stands up for her students motivation so you build your identity and also you identify the action points for you right i am the kind of doctor who gives each patient the time and empathy they they need i am the kind of manager who advocates for her employees so i am a supporter of em- employees i am a uh, person who empowers the employees i am the person who facilitates the employees to be more once you have a handle on the type of person you want to be you can begin taking small steps to reinforce your desired identity i have a friend who lost over 100 pounds the writer says by asking herself what would a healthy person do all day long she would use this question as a guide would a healthy person walk or take a cab would a healthy person order a burrito or a salad she figured if she acted like a healthy person long enough eventually she would become that person she was right the concept of identity based habits is our first introduction to an another key theme in this book feedback loops your habits shape your identity and your identity shapes your habits 
it is a two way street the formation of all habits is a feedback loop a concept we will explore in explore later right the real reason habits matter is identity change is the north star of habit change the remainder of this book will provide you with the the step of enemies will go on reading right building better habits isn't about littering your days with life hacks it is not about flushing one tooth each night or taking a cold shower each morning or wearing the same outfit each day it is not about achieving external measure of success like earning more money losing weight or reducing stress habits can help you achieve all of these things but fundamentally they are not about having something they are about becoming some so the summary are as follows there are three levels of change outcome change process change and identity change the most effective way to change your habits is to focus on what you want to achieve but on who you wish to become the third is the identity emergence emerges out of your habits every action is a vote for the type of person you wish to become Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs and to upgrade and expand your identity. The real reason habits matter is not because they can get you better results, although they can do that, but because they can change your beliefs about yourself. So that is all about the second chapter of Atomic Habits. Hope this has helped. So. start uh, telling yourself about who you are who you wish to become from today onwards thank you for watching